this coin with which all the world pays fame, I grasp this coin with gloves. With disgust, I trample it under me. Who wants to be paid? Those for sale. Whoever is for sale seizes with sticky hands all the world's coin, jingle, jangle, fame. You want to buy them? They're all for sale. But offer much. Jingle with a full purse. Otherwise, you fortify them. You fortify their virtue. There are two paths that are always laid in front of the individual. One leads to all that he is wanting to become. The other that gives him everything he wants only as an image, as a perception. Never in reality. There is an unmistakable longing to show to as many of your fellow beings as possible that you are something special. Because you are. There is no denying that fact. Your individuality, your uniqueness, the way you think, what you're dreaming, it is all worth being witnessed by as many as possible. No individual ever feels that they are so insignificant, they are so worthless, that they are not worthy of people's appreciation. There will always be something that you can recognize as this is me. This is unique. And anything that is unique loves showing itself. So this desire to attain to fame is very natural. There is nothing negative in it. It is not against life. Life is a big show off in that sense. Everything unique in it, it wants to display it. And it is constantly trying to get your attention. That is why it creates one beautiful thing after another. Visually beautiful, fragrance, experientially beautiful. So many varieties of experiences. Because it knows that when it is creating something from inside, it is unique. It's not a replica. And the purpose of creating something unique is for all the other creatures of existence to look at it and say, what a creation. It makes you wonder about the creator. Human beings are, at the most basic level, creators. There's nothing that gives us more joy in feeling one with ourselves than creating. And when you create something, you don't want to hide it. You want to show it. And the attention that it gets is what we recognize as fame. But then why is Nietzsche so critical of fame? He says, this coin with which all the world pays, which he calls fame, I grasp this coin with gloves, with disgust. I trample it under me. Who wants to be paid? Those for sale. Whoever is for sale seizes with sticky hands all the world's coin, jingle jangle fame. 
Now, what he's referring to is fame that is a product of total ignorance of the beauty that is being displayed. Fame that is drawing attention for all the wrong reasons. Fame that is hiding the true essence of who you are. You are being paid to be someone else. You are being paid for things that you don't care. You are being paid to be doing something other than what you want to be doing. That's the kind of fame that is cheap and you can easily buy it. All you have to do is sacrifice your individuality, sacrifice truth, sacrifice honor, sacrifice all the best of qualities that keep you together as an individual. The world wants you to be a joke. Pick up one ideal. Pick up one definition of beauty from outside. One definition of what is admirable and keep on working towards satisfying that. Then you will be paid a lot. You will get all the attention. And in the process, what is it that you are cheapening? You are giving yourself away. You are losing yourself, your own judgment of who you are for the sake of this fake currency, which is the worldly fame. Yes, you are unique. Yes, there is something special inside you. If that is recognized, if that draws attention, your true fragrance, your true uniqueness, slowly from far and wide, somebody gets a scent of it and they start longing for it. They start searching for it. And then when that appreciation comes, meaningful appreciation, with the depth, with a conversation, with an opportunity to know more about who you are, that is true appreciation. But what's happening in the world is nobody is wanting to know the individual. They are just wanting to know where you fit in in terms of their definition of fame. That is why, who are the most famous? The most shallow are the most famous in the world. The more noise you make, empty noise, the more famous you are. The most intellectual, the most meditative, the serene, the calm, the blissful are never famous. It is the politicians, the actors, the snake oil salesmen, loudmouthed businessmen. They are the visible definition of fame. Now, if you try to fit in there, you will lose the most precious thing. Existence wanted you to be yourself. It did not create you to be a buffoon in a circus. That is why he says, you have to pay some price for fame. You have to buy it. That is the world you're living in. But pay a lot more than what is asked for. Pay as much as you can so that you don't cheapen it, so that the virtues of the crowd, the virtues of that fame doesn't become your virtue. The valuation of the ones who are wanting to buy fame 
ensure that it doesn't become your valuation. Ultimately, how you see yourself under the shadow of your own light is life. Everything around that light, everything around that uniqueness called you, all that noise, all that commotion is cheap. You can buy it. At least pay a hefty price so that you don't mistake that false fame for who you are on the inside.